Nine oh three and oh, you still suck. If no, anybody, if anybody saw you the suck. posts about the this big tech statue that caught on fire, that oh, looks dude. like Christ. Satan's hellspawn. It good thing, good riddance to that fucking thing. It's a good giant riddance. statue you of do a cowboy. It? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had nothing to do with it. Can we please there? move that goddamn game to Cowboy Stadium. So oh. that game is an enormous game. It's yes. it's a weird football game where it's not held in Austin and it's not held in Oklahoma. It's held in Dallas. It's at a neutral Denver, site Denver. because it's such an it's intense like rivalry. It's like halfway between the yeah. two. Right, in the middle at noon. So it's a huge game, and we all get, we all, of course, everybody goes and gets fucking hammered at the game. Yes. Texas got destroyed this year, like 66 to 3, yeah. or whatever was it? I, I stopped watching the first quarter. Who gives a, a shit? I turned it on for like five seconds. I was like, no. It's like, it's like, you know, if you follow any kind of any other sports, it's like, I don't know, like Manchester United versus Arsenal or. Cowboys, Redskins, or anything like that. It's a, big. it's a big rivalry for our school in particular. Anyway, so the first year I ever went there, there was uh, this girl who had this stuff called Bear Claw, which was some kind of honey and Everclear liquor wow. that she would make and put in the top of her closet for like six weeks to ferment it. Wow. And we were drinking that. That's sophisticated. I got really fucked up, and I, I was trying to take care of this older guy who got completely fucked up. That's a funny story because <laughs> the guy Bernie. No, I got you. I was actually like holding him up like at a urinal. Like you hold him by the back of the shirt while he's like yeah. wobbling or and pissing. Front. And then I'm dragging him back down the stadium stairs to his seat. And there's this girl with another drunk girl coming up the stairs this way. <laughs> and it's like our two drunk idiots lock eyes. <laughs> and they just start making out like right Jesus. there in the middle of the what? stairways. Yeah, it's like, it's like we had to break him up. And then I get him back to his seat. You should have started making out with the other girl. Yeah, there you go. Like, hey, what's up? Yeah, 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 smart man. See, <laughs> waffles for buns and making out with the, with the chaperone. I should have thought about it. But my buddy, John Cross, I call him my buddy. I fucking hate him. He's a fucking dickhead. <laughs> John, John, John if you're watching the podcast, you're, I, I've never liked you. <laughs> and wow. Sorry you. to break it to you. But uh, he gets the idea. He goes, hey, Bernie, let's, we're winning the game. It's like five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Let's run out of the field. Oh, I go, Jesus. I'm so drunk by this point. I'm like, let's do this. Yeah. So we go down, and it's like one of those things where the first row, there's a railing and then a drop-off. Like maybe like six feet drop down, maybe twenty feet, and then a track, and then the, then the football <laughs> right. field, right? So and there's security guards everywhere. And I was young when I went to college. I was seventeen when I was a freshman. I turned seventeen when I was a freshman in college, and oh, so I was already I was way too young to be drunk and in public like that. And so there's all these people we're all crowding in. People used to rush the field, I guess, a lot more back then, and we're all crowded. We're all about to jump. And I was excited because like John's right there and he's like, he's like, we're gonna do this on three, we're gonna go, go, go. We're all gonna go, it's gonna be a big rush. And so it's like, now it's like two minutes left in the game. So he goes, go! So we jump, everybody fucking jumps. I dart between two security guards and there's all these fucking people. We rush the field, the game is still going on. I rushed out there, but I was the first one out, so I was, was so excited. Cheering, right? I'm cheering, I'm the first one out there. I get all the way out to midfield, I turn around. Nobody else. Oh, oh my god. god. Damn it. I'm out. I'm out on the fucking center of the field with the football players by myself. <laughs> and I'm so I'm so drunk. I like I'm out there. They were like like 20, 30 yards away from me, the football team, and the two football teams. And then I look up and I say, Oh look, the band's coming out in the field. It's not the band, it's security guards. It's like a fucking <laughs> fuck you it's up. A, it's, a, it's a group of security guards and they start to like you around me. <laughs> and then I realize that I'm drunk and I'm so Fucking drunk, I sit, think to myself, if I get to the end zone, they can't touch me. Jeremiah <laughs> <laughs> was, ch- was the crowd cheer, like, Bernie, wow. Bernie. Miles, can I Bernie. tell you one of the greatest moments of my life? When I broke the goal line, everyone in that U went, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and you, I was hauling ass. I was, <laughs> I was drunk. Get the fuck off, man. I was drunk to get away from them. No. I was running. And then I got to the end oh zone, and then I saw the tunnel, right? Oh I saw the tunnel where the, everybody comes out, the football players come out, and I thought, I just got to make it to that tunnel. <laughs> I'm running, I run by the goalpost, and this short Mexican woman security guard steps out from behind the goalpost, and I'm running full speed. She takes both her fists, and she goes, boom, right in the middle of my chest, and I did a fucking somersault. <laughs> I did a so back, <laughs> laying on my ass. And let me tell you, when security guards grab you, they are not nice. No, no, they're, they're not they were, like, they were like, asshole that ran on the field. They were grabbing my throat, Jesus and like Christ. fish hooking me and shit. And uh, this is an unbelievable part of the story. They said, they grabbed me, and one guy goes, he like grabs me with a collar and yanks me, and he goes, he goes, kid, how old are you? And I said, I'm only 17, he goes, Go back to your seat. Get you out of here. What? Wow. <laughs> they, let me, they, they let me go back to my seat and watch the rest of the What? 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's That's really funny. I would have been in Guantanamo today yeah. if that yeah, had happened. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't yeah. believe they just sent you back to your seat. I gotta find some buddies now for the linked up, see if any of my friends because there's, there's, there's pictures I, of there's it. There's gotta be video of yeah. that. There's no, there's video. no honestly there's not video from you know, there's, not everyone had a video camera. millimeter film some of those rolls. Oh boy, there's a wide camera. And now it appears a boy has run on the field.